The biggest difference between DJ Pro for the iPad and DJ Pro for the Android is going to be your available view modes. DJ Pro was able to fit so many amazing features by separating into different view modes. So on the Android, all we get is Classic, which I'm in now, which you all know if you use DJ Pro before. It's great for scratching and doing DJ tricks, but you do not have access to as many features at the same time as you do in Pro Mode. In DJ Pro for the Android, there is no Pro Mode. There's just Starter, which is really just for beginners. And then there is Auto Mix, which really isn't even DJing, but at least you do get the Auto Mix feature. On the iPad, we get Pro Mode, which we could access our jog wheels and our features. When you're in classic mode and you open up your feature section, you're going to lose your jog wheels over, over here, which isn't the biggest deal, but it makes it a lot easier to be able to see everything you're doing at the same time. We have looper, one deck, and four deck mixing. On the Android, we cannot mix with four decks. I don't really use these features a lot, but it's cool to have them there. And while we're talking about view modes, another feature that is completely missing from DJ Pro for the Android is what I think is DJ Pro's best feature, and that is video mode. DJ Pro allows you to connect a TV or a projector really easy to a USB-C iPad, and you can mix with the visualizers here. Or if you have a subscription to title streaming service, you could load up music videos. So if you, if you search an artist, 50 cent. You'll see the songs, and then you'll see the videos here. And then if you're in video mode, you could load it right up into video mode, and you could be mixing with the music video, uh, with the visuals, and not just the audio. And then in our effects, we get audio video effects, which are really cool. So there's a blur, there's a reverb, a lot of cool effects, and you could do transitions based on the videos along with the audio. The next one is going to be a controller support. If you press the middle button here on e either device, and then you go to settings and go to MIDI devices, and then go to supported DJ controllers, view all. Now it brings us to the algorithm website, and then there's some featured ones, but down here, if we click on iOS, we get a huge selection of 50 plus controllers. New ones are added all the time. All of these are pre-mapped controllers, plug and play. You could start DJing right away with these controllers. For the Android, we only get a small selection, a very few selection. There are some great controllers like the Hercules DJ Control Mix, the Flex 4, which is a professional controller, and my favorite, the Reloop buddy but although you could connect these controllers to dj pro for the android you cannot map these controllers with a usb-c with a usb-c ipad you could map any controller to do whatever you want and even if it's an old controller that's not supported on this list most of them will let you custom map them so if you want to have a large selection of controllers you may want to switch to the ipad next is going to be our playlist and our cue points and uh, our basically our song data so here if we press the music selection button in dj pro for the ipad you'll see in our music sources we have my collections we can make playlist and organize playlist in here in for the android go to our music sources and we don't have a my collections music sources also on the iPad, if we mark down our cue points, they could be they could be in sync with all your devices. So when you load up the song with the cue points, it's there. The Android is missing that feature. And now here in Pro Mode, we could open up our Looper and Sampler, and we get a beautiful view of our Looper and Sampler with all of the available columns. If we go to back to our modes, we get a whole Looper and Sampler mode. We get these little volume faders. And it's kind of like having a built-in beat making software within the DJ software. And then we have our samples here. Also in classic mode, we have a limited access to our sampler and our looper. But in DJ Pro for the Android, since we don't have a pro mode, we are stuck with that limited amount of boxes. So you don't get all of the columns for making your own beats with the looper. And then same thing with the sampler. So it does have the looper and sampler feature, but it is a lot more limited. One thing is cool about the Android, which I wasn't sure if it would work. You could use Neuromix. So you could see me getting rid of the vocals, getting rid of the harmonics. Neuromix works perfectly fine on the Android and on the iPad. Let's see how long it takes to load up an, a song on each device. 
So ready, I'm gonna try to press the load at the same time, see which one loads faster or if they load at the same speed. So yeah, pretty much no difference. If you have a better or worse Android device, it might make a difference, but it loaded up the song fast enough so you could start DJing and you don't have to wait. Another big thing that you can't do on the Android is use an external storage device like a USB stick or a thumb drive for your music that's not supported on Android. So Android, you can DJ professionally. You're just gonna miss out on some features. If those features that I mentioned were iPad only aren't a big deal for you, it may not make sense to upgrade from an Android from an Android device. And if you wanna see my full beginner tutorial for DJ Pro for the Android, check out this video over here, thank you.